four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranchin here, bringing on Sarkov Commentary. This is going to be the winner's match in Group G of the Round 32 of the Nate MSL. Not hey, MSL. Net. N oh, how did Diggity say it? Whatever, Nate. It's Nate. It's it's Nate. It's going to be Hyuk up against Cal. We're going to have Hyuk at the lower left-hand position as the 7 o'clock yellow Zerg. We're going to have Cal at the upper right-hand position, 1 o'clock red Protoss. And everybody just refuses to call him Gujil. I mean, he changed his nickname ages ago. Like, well, ages ago from Cal to Gujila or Godzilla or Gujila or whatever it is. Nah, 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 nah. Anyway, but no, everybody refused to call him that. I don't know why, because it's a freaking awesome nickname. I mean, he went from Cal, you know, Cal, which is the, you know, European, European uh, temperature thing, except with a K. Uh, temperature. Uh, English is not my first language. <laughs> Whatever. Um, he, meanwhile, is going to go for the Forge Fast Expand. But, yeah, I don't know why. It's people just, he's definitely tall enough to be a Godzilla. That guy is freaking... Huge tall, and I'm not just talking. Oh, he's an Asian. He's tall for an Asian. I mean, he's freaking tall, tall. Like, like, yeah, like tall. So you know, we could call him like Gujilla Cal, Gujilla Cal, Cal Godzilla. Like you know, there's a Mecha Godzilla, so like call him a Cal Godzilla. Whatever. Probe Scout gonna come out. We're gonna see how annoying he is this time. It's definitely annoying against uh, his matchup <laughs> against Type B. So we're gonna see what man should do against Hyuk. Hyuk. Meanwhile, gonna go for an overpull. Probably going to have a drone coming up inside the natural expansion. Try to plant down that gnat. And that probe is going to probably come in right in time to be annoying and do some sort of heavy ass preventing there. He's been just going to mine a few minerals, but the drones actually come off the line. Hit the probe. Try to just kind of force it back while he's trying to run towards the natural expansion. But that probe is going to be annoying. Actually taking quite a bit, quite a few hits on the shield, but still going to run in. Yeah, drone engaging it. Try to kill it. Try to just force it back. Getting several hits on it. Cal doesn't care. Ah, my shield's recharged, bitch. And get by and not care. Haha. -ha. We're gonna see whether he actually plants down a probe or not. Uh drone gonna try still Oh probe does go does go down and drone, despite not taking a single hit, is gonna go to the force being forced uh, probably not gonna take the mineral, only gonna be forced all the way to the upper left hand, take that third gas. This is on match point, by the way, two player map. And Zerglings, I don't like this map too well for Zerg. Because, well, because you have their third that's so on the way. If it gets into the late game, this map can be fairly decent. I mean, other than that, there's not really that bad map for for Zerg. They can take that upper, that 12, that those six. They're fairly easy to hold. They can take those bases and hold them and play pretty well. Cal putting down his first cannon. Um, getting Nexus first before that cannon. Just, but yeah, but actually feel that if Hyuk had gone, geez, I think he's inside his engine expansion trying to pick off the probe, yeah, and that, it's exactly what he's trying to do as he puts down his actual expansion base, probe apparently trying to be irritating and prevent that, I think Cal actually losing his probe, I think he actually cancelled his pile and all there, but I think if Hyuk actually managed, uh, went for the main, he might have actually made it before the second can morphed in, he might have actually been able to run between that probe, between the pylon and forge, I'm sorry, and maybe even gotten into man, I'm not quite sure what the timings though. Not quite sure whether Hyuk's gonna go in there, saw, see that the second pylon is still morphing in the local, like, ah. I had the time. I didn't take the time. Uh, that's not me imitating an Asian, by the way. That just kind of came out that way. Gateway coming up alongside. Also, one probe to act as like, like a blocker. So I think it's going to make a fairly enough, good enough wall. Zerk is going to be forced to run in on the lower left hand. At uh, the left hand side, they're not going to be able to, to run by without taking a serious cannon fire. So his natural really going to be delayed. Did take that upper left hand, but both of his bases coming in later than he would have wanted. So Cal already delaying, just being very annoying with his with his probe. Cal alongside Bisu, really very annoying players. They are just the best Protoss players. Really can't be very annoying with those probes. Cal very annoying. Bisu, Storks too as well. Stork uh, not as much as some others because he's a very good scouting probe, but he's not really that big on the harassing. He's not as much. Ooh, Manor pile on you. Uh, put down a pylon here. Just, yeah, all in all. But Bisu has a probe inside your base. You pay attention to it. Because if Bisu has a probe inside your, inside your base, just a minute later you might find that there are cannons suddenly firing at your workers at the natural expansion. You have no idea how the hell that happened. Probe teleports to higher ground and just morphs in cannons without the help of a forage and just you're dead. Bisu's probes. OMG. <clears throat> Pork probes. But yeah, that's a different project. Different subject. Anyway, Cal's gonna go to the upper left position, gonna spot that. Our drone's mining there already. But second gas gonna take a little while. Well, Cal's just getting his forge up and a citadel. We're gonna see what actually goes for something like last time. Just getting the, those six zealots out there, putting on pressure. 
has that second This does look a lot like that build. Um, and I'm not seeing a Stargate from him this time. Last time he put did put down a Stargate. This time he's completely skipping. It's little. I really, I really like this actually. Yeah, a lot of Protoss is lately going, always going for you know Stargate first to get the scout. But Cal just says, "Screw you guys. I'm just gonna." Just okay. Just get one probe instead. Some pl some players actually scout with their initial zealot. He's actually doing that a little bit, scanning down his ramp, because zealots are very resilient, and they will eventually die if you act as scouts. You might even you might be able to pick off a drone. Kind of difficult, especially with a lot of zerglings on the ground. But if you can micro that probe around, you can get the full-on scout. It's gonna get picked off. Oh man, almost get it surrounded. Damn, he just runs between those zerglings. They have speed though, so he's gonna eventually die there. But yeah, the zealot. You don't really want to lose a Zealot. Okay, losing a probe is bad, but you can make that sacrifice. But your Zealot might be an important factor in your eventual early attack, so you don't really want to use it necessarily. But I really like this early, this even hiding the Zealot at the upper right hand. Getting ready for an early, even earlier plus one speed speed lot attack. While just now hatcheries, additional hatcheries coming up for Hyuk. I'm wondering whether I accidentally... Uh, called him Type B. When I first, I I actually been forced to try to commentate this game a couple of times. For some, just because of some sort of weird sound glitches I've been getting. But the, the last time I got like two minutes into it and like, oh, I've been calling him Type B this entire time. Give me a freaking break. Shoot myself. Spire now on the way, so we're gonna see the initial scourge. And I'm not sure. He sh yeah, he does have an overlord inside the main, but he might be wondering, okay, what what is going on? Is there is there a, some sort of weird something somewhere? Is there a is the is it hidden somewhere? Where is the freaking star? Sorry, where is the Stargate? There's a Temple Archives coming up. It looks like Kalish is going to go for these six Zealots. Wait for his uh, Zealot legs and Zealot speed. I'm sorry, and what both ways? Anyway, um, going both ways. Anyway, Zealot speed and uh, plus one attack to kick in. He doesn't really want to. Okay, Zealot speed coming now. One plus one's going to come in any minute. The upper left hand position. There are going to be two second colonies alongside Muda. So yeah, just as I th I was actually thinking this, that because he didn't see the Stargate, he's going to just going to go for Muda's. This uh, is going to give Cal the spot on this. He's probably still going to go for this attack. There are some Zerglings alongside. Yeah, he's going to be forced back as soon as he sees the Sunkens. He's going to lose some Zealots because of these Mutas. Meanwhile, adding in gateways and Photon Cannons. Three Photon Cannons in the main. Uh, there was already an early Photon Cannons going to cover some of those uh, some of those minerals. But we're going to see whether there's something else. And at the very least, Cal's not really managing to accomplish too much with all of this. But at the very least, the Mutal is actually going to go running inside. We can see something. Mutal is going to go running inside. There's also one single cannon. There's an extra expansion. Not really much to defend either. One cannon be forced to cancel. The other cannon destroyed. And the third one morphing in just. But oh man. And no Archon. Oh god. Beautiful here by Hyuk. Beautiful. He's, he's going to be able to bend his gnat. He does have a Dark Templar out initially enough. He really needs an Archon. About now, there are two cannon inside of the natural expansion. Uh, Hyuk's still going to engage this. So picking off probes. Look crazy. Only getting a hit here and there as Muta's lost one there again, but natural expansion main not mining at all now. Beautiful play here. Um, Cal reacting well to Hyuk's play, but oh, we're not going to get a high templar morphing into Archon and a dark Archon as well. Is one of those other things that Protoss are doing when we try to kind of react to the current PVZ metagame. Uh, I'm not quite really sure what he's on upgrades. He probably is just completely skipping, especially with those Mutalists in play. He can just completely skip Storm at the moment. He just get those Archons up, force the Mutas back with those Archons. He's going to have two Archons up, and the Dark Archon, as soon as he has a Maelstrom up, those Mutas are freaking toast. In a group, Maelstrom, get an Archon close, and that's it. And Overlord also going to lose his life, so that's, that's, that's us a little yay. More Photon Cannons coming in. Archon just not managing to... Okay, finally Archon running between those mirror lines. Gonna get one shot off. Not another one. The second Archon not really in a position to at all travel, I think. He's just gonna stay at the natural expansion just in case there's sort of break coming in. But these Mutalisks preventing all sorts of mining at the main, man. Finally, those two Archons... I think he's actually waiting. I think he's just waiting for that uh, Maelstrom to get itself ready. As soon as it's ready, he's gonna move towards the natural. He's gonna pick off these freaking Mutalisks.